guys, welcome back to days 11 and 12 of November. So if you watched my last video, you know that I was kind of just being down and wasn't really inspired, but that has changed, don't worry, kind of. So for these two drawings, I felt like the second one is the strongest one. Um, I've noticed that with all my drawings that towards the beginning, I do tend to like not like it and then at the end I'm like oh it wasn't that bad so in today's video I want to talk about basically how you know there are a lot of artists that when they're painting or drawing if the beginning or even like halfway through or three-fourths of the way through if they don't like it they tend to stop and that's okay I did the same thing when I first started out but it all works out in the end if you just power through it if you give up halfway, you never know what the outcome can be. You know, with painting and drawing, you can always paint over it, you can always erase it, you can always change it. You don't, nothing is set in stone unless you carve stone as an artist. And in that case, I don't know. But I forgot who told me or where I heard it that you don't want to stop halfway through your art. You want to finish it because you never know what the outcome is. And in the first drawing for day 11, I saw that a lot. I was drawing this and I was just thinking to myself, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. The angle of the head, the neck doesn't look right. The eyes are just so weird looking and I couldn't figure out what. You know, I kept going and it would have been easier for me to just, I guess, start over or just not, just skip it, call it a day. Day 11 sucked and then move on to day 12. but. I pushed through and I feel like that's what I did with the rut I was in. I felt stuck and I just pushed through it. So if you're a young artist, a beginning artist, and you notice that you have a bunch of art that are work in progress that just never finished, art that you just stopped halfway through, you know, you have to stop that because you never know what the end product could have been and maybe maybe at the end you still didn't like it but what matters is that you have that proof of improvement you know if you have half a head drawn you know a year later when you try drawing the same thing or to look back and see your improvement you don't know because you stopped halfway through and that's the amazing part that when i push through i can look back at my art and see the improvement so for all young artists out there i just want to say that it is hard to i guess say that your art looks good as artists it's easier for us to say oh she's really good oh i love her art i love that art but when we talk about our own art we're like oh i could have been better i could have done this i could have done that or sometimes it's just easier to just hide our art. You know, people want to see and you're just like kind of shy. But trust me, as you get more skilled and you get better, that changes. With day 12, I guess once I had that confidence that I saw the before and after of day 11, I was able to just do day 12 like nothing. It was just easier for me, although I did mess up and uh, I made her forehead like way too small. Her hairline should have been pulled back, but uh, I can't fix that. So moving on. It's just things that I guess artists, young artists especially, have this habit of just dropping work. And I did that a lot. I have sketchbooks that are unfinished. I have sketchbooks that have a lot of unfinished work in it. I have sketchbooks that I have actually just sheets of paper probably somewhere of artwork I never did from years ago. And yeah, I can see improvement in some parts, but in other parts I can't because I don't know. I never finished it, but I think my art like block is kind of getting over a little bit, especially after day 12. Um, right now it is the 14th as I'm doing this voiceover and for day 14, um, I think I did okay. The hair on day 14, well, you'll see when we get there. But I do want to see if I can go and go to Starbucks or somewhere and 
do some live portraits. Uh, it's currently really cold where I live, so going to the park is not an option. So I will go somewhere where I can be inside. Not only that, but with the California fires, it's hard to breathe. So uh, I will keep you guys updated. So sorry for the fact that my head keeps getting in the way. Still haven't gotten used to not looking so close to my drawing. But I hope you guys really like this video. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe because the month is not over yet we are almost halfway through and if you want to see how November ends because I know I do be sure to subscribe follow me on Instagram and I hope to see you guys in my next video bye